Can you describe a typical Man United fan for us? Please? At the moment, no, because they, they, they can't really see the... The issue, the reality, yeah. the reality, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And now they are, they are miles behind. Oh, miles, miles. Behind. Me, they're me behind. You listening? You behind, behind, behind Liverpool and Man City. Have you seen the way he tweets? The way he talks about United. You got no business talking about United like that. You don't, even, like you're not even from Liverpool, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
I didn't even know is it possible to be that big. He controlled the city and the club. Oh no, man! I hear him. I'll, I'll probably go Totti. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think I'd go Totti. But Totti didn't have that physical. He had the touch, the, the vision, and everything, and, and and the skills. But he wasn't that quick. He wasn't stamina wise. Wasn't there. But so the most complete player was Stevie G. But when it comes to, but Roma, you played with what De Rossi. De Rossi was there as well, so, and that would have been the Gerard role. Nah, he was he was different. He was just more as a sitting midfielder, yeah, and, and just picking up the second balls, give it away to. You had Simone Perotta as well, who was born in England. Yeah, True. what is it, is it? Yeah, where though? Where Stoke? What? <laughs> that don't count. That don't count bro. He was born in Stoke. Oh my! What a horrible place to be born. Wow. So, so I'm not a Liverpool man. I can't remember. I don't know. Like, what other legends did he play with? Did he play with Voronin? <laughs> oh, you're doing that stuff. <laughs> what? Let's take, a, let's take a look at the side that beat you, man. You can't hold it. You have to laugh. Man. You, can't, <laughs> you can't keep it in. <laughs> Manga love. I know. I know. You know. You're having a bad time. You don't have to. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. Stick to your own players, man. <laughs> Picked on the Ukrainian. That's low hanging fruit. Man. I'm just saying. I just. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm just checking. <laughs> 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 to be fair, he played with Xabi Alonso. Oh, Ooh, crazy. yeah, one of the best. Can't say nothing bad about that. Can't say yeah. nothing bad about that. The pass master. Mm. Actually, in his debut at Anfield, he didn't miss a pass in the first forty minutes. Hmm? What? So he and and when they, he missed it, Anfield clapped. Mm. <laughs> Is it true that you used to call him the um, Spanish Michael Carrick? <laughs> So that's your pos- that's your role in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like what you're doing today. I like it. No, I want the inside. I want the scoop. I want the tea today. He's, he's not usually like this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's in that drink, by the way? <laughs> Remember when Skulls tried to do him? Jabby Alonso. Yeah, he got sent off. He sw- he, might, he missed. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> he's terrible attacker. No, he was unbelievable, Alonso, passing wise. He just. He, he wasn't that quick, but it, the vision of the game and the passing was ridiculous. I, as a left back, you know, left backs. Yeah. Left back. back he didn't want to be a left back. But you're a left back. I. He knew. I <laughs> could, nah, it's facts. It's facts, John. It's facts. It's facts. I did try and do it. <laughs> I was. In, I was. In, have you ever seen an inverted left back? I'm sure you <laughs> play on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Auxiliary midfielder. Yeah. No, but he was like, I could, I could start run, and I just knew the ball was coming, and he didn't have to look because he, he knew I was running. And when you have that kind of relation, that's, you know, you don't have to speak. So was he your, he was your point man rather than Gerard? But Gerard on yeah, the Gerard was side. more like the going a little bit forward, Alonso dropping, or Mascherano. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Mascherano. Because Mascherano and Alonso played with Benitez, they played the sitting, and uh, Gerard was the number 10, the offensive Not midfield. winning the league with that is bad, though, man. That's a crazy free. Yeah, and then that's you have justice. Because tr- Torres up front with that free behind yeah. that point. No, oh, that's a mad thing. But who did you have wide? Babel and who? No, we had uh, Luis Garcia. Kiel? Uh, Harry Kiel was Harry there. Harry Kiel was there, yeah. Yeah, Harry so Kiel. Go on, Harry Kiel. We talked about Alatarat. Well, what was Harry Kiel's problem? Injuries. You reckon? Yeah. He came, when he came to Liverpool, I got, I got quite close with uh, uh, Harry Kiel because he moved in next to, well, close to where I lived. And, and he moved without his missus because he was uh, still staying in Leeds. And uh, unbelievable guy, but he got so much injuries, Is man. Is that what it was? He couldn't just... He trained with injuries, he played with injuries, and then he had a break, came back, straight away, new injury. So he just had to push his body to the limit. And when you can't perform 100%... He got, he got injured in the final, didn't he? Yeah, he was. He, he, he struggled until up towards the final in 2005. Yeah. Gambled, played him, took him off after... 20 minutes yeah, something it was quick. Uh, and he was distraught you know because he w- worked so hard to get back right uh, yeah fair enough i wanted to make fun of him but okay <laughs> <laughs> unlucky i i saw it coming so <laughs> <laughs> you saved your boy i respect that who's the best liverpool captain ever gerard or henderson liverpool captain yeah yeah cvg well take take a, take a couple minutes <laughs> yeah you start too quick gerard or henderson cvg okay yeah no, I, lo- I I love Henderson, but he, he he's I haven't played with him, no. so I don't know how he's in the dressing room. But I can't imagine him being better than Stevie G. I say Stevie G. I don't think Henderson could do what Stevie G done. What, in, in the final. dressing room though? Nah, I don't Stevie think he G could has do. Done what Henderson has done. Stevie G is the kind of player who don't need to speak that much. But like say, say with Totti, for example, when you go on the pitch and you know Stevie G or Totti is on st- in the starting eleven, you feel something's missing. As a player, I, I knew that, oh no, Stevie G's not playing or Totti's not playing. Because the opposition know 
And they get scared when they see Totti on there and CVG. When they're not playing, you feel that the opposition get maybe some, ah, oh, now we got them. I don't feel that the same if Henderson doesn't play. How much of that, though, is because Steven Gerrard played in a team with loads of European players like yourself, and you couldn't understand a word he was no, saying No, it anyway. doesn't matter. I mean, football is one language. Uh, yeah, but you couldn't <laughs> understand a word he was saying, though. <laughs> Pass the ball! When I, when, when, I came to, when I came to Liverpool and I spoke to Kara and CVG in the first six months, didn't understand shit it was just <laughs> i was just, yeah yeah nodding along and you know pretending to know english or scouse but uh eventually you know i'm feeling quite scouse myself you must be good at it now yeah you sat you you always sounded a bit scouse in interviews yeah maybe why do players fake accents when they leave fake yeah like joy, joy barton, barton became french Lukaku is american <laughs> San, <laughs> San, <laughs> San, sancho McLaren. was dutch steve mclaren was dutch as well <laughs> they did the whole uh, uh between every single word so we could understand them, innit? In their language. Mad. Who was better though? Julier or Benitez? Ooh. I would say Benitez because, you know, when you win the Champions League with him, you can't really. And with the team, because we came fifth that year in the Premier League as well. Maybe. Yeah, you did. And Everton came fourth, if I remember right. And then they didn't get yeah. Champions League the next year. They didn't get Champions League, yeah. We beat them really, really So, awesome. I mean, I think Benitez, uh, how he was preparing for, how he was preparing for the European games, he was unbelievable. Yeah. Every day was like tactics. So we, could, we knew we could beat anybody on the day. But when it comes to the whole season, we, we, the score wasn't strong enough to, to compete for them. Who day is underrated though to me? Liverpool, he took Liverpool from middle, mid-table to like a European hmm. football team. I and think they, they won the treble, didn't they? Uh, the, the season I came, well, well, that summer before. So yeah, he, he's unbelievable. Uh, but it's so different, you know, like Julia, he would be in the office. Yeah. Most of the time during the week, yeah. Benitez was on the pitch every oh, single day. Proper pitch yeah. manager. Do all the tactics by himself. What about like Claudio Ranieri? He played under Claudio Ranieri as well. Yeah, at Roma, yeah. Unbelievable mm. guy. Really? Yeah, he was there. He was on the pitch Seriously? all the time. Yeah, he was unbelievable. I love him. Uh, he's so funny as well. I mean, really funny. Uh, with his bad English uh, yeah. accent. <laughs> he still got bad English. Who? Claudio Ranieri. Do you know I bought you once for Man United on FIFA? Did you, yeah? You came. <laughs> must have paid me a lot then. He <laughs> <laughs> said you came. <laughs> trying to stitch me up there. Uh. No, do you play with some players that just, like, I don't hear a lot about? El Hajjouf. Oh my God. Greatest the player biggest from villain ever. <laughs> Greatest player ever. I heard he has the worst breath in history. <laughs> Didn't care about Steven <laughs> Gerrard or the legacy in Liverpool. He had Didn't his care own about team. Anyone. And he went Bolton. Why do you bring up this, no, these names? <laughs> I've got more. I've got more. No, you've got plenty of time, yeah. <laughs> Who did he spit on? The crowd. Yeah. yeah. I, I think he was just, I think he just spat. Is that Specs is ground? Flamed it out, you know. No, okay. El Hadji Juf, he, he was. Um, Something different, yeah. yeah. What was he like in training? He was, well, he smiled because of how he looked. He smiled all the time and having fun, but he didn't, he wasn't serious enough. And he, he, he thought he was the one. Better than he is. <laughs> or 2002, yeah, he thought he was. No, he thought, when we, because we bought him before the World Cup, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, I think it was 10 million or something. Yeah, uh, it was a big, big price. Around yeah. that. So he came to Liverpool and he came out with this flashy, dress sense and his cars and everything and he, he, the problem is that when some players go to big clubs they think they made it when they sign mm -hmm. but that's when the hard work starts you know what I mean but he thought PK. signing I'm the man but he, he forgets that he comes to a club where you have Stevie G Kara and these big personalities and you come to a club where the fans and the players connect and he just thought nah I'll do whatever I want and he was he wasn't much like the way he was still doesn't get on with the fans, does he? He's like PK and then when you go and say and, and, and slaughter and 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 backstab uh, Carragher and Stevie, yeah, yeah, yeah. after yeah, you yeah, just yeah, 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 take somebody else. Don't take the yeah. maybe the you know the two biggest players you have for yeah, the last twenty J years. Blame Jay Spear. Yeah. You say it's safe yeah, to say he can't Finnan, go back. Blame Finnan, yeah, no yeah, testimony yeah. over there. Testimonial for him. <laughs> no, they, they, <laughs> no. They, they ain't got a lot of time for him. <laughs> what the hell is he? I, I saw yeah. he was like a minister of sport or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Where? In Senegal. Yeah. But he had skills, you know? He you. was a player, yeah. I mean, he had... Uh, he's, he could you dribble know, the ball. Oh my goodness. Left footed and as well, right? When he was on, and he just said, take the ball and go one against one. You never knew what he was going to do, which was a good thing and a bad thing for us because we never know when the cross was coming. <laughs> but he had skills, but he just... Some people just lose that 100% professionalism all the time. They just want to enjoy life more at a certain time, and uh, he, he did that.
Liverpool as a place of, is that the kind of place that a football player should want to live like London I can imagine being a big distraction well I live both places and when I came to Liverpool it was not a nice city but then they won this European culture in 2005 <laughs> yeah, or something, yeah, and, yeah. and they, things change and it, now it's beautiful to stay there and it's easier to be a professional 24-7 in Liverpool than in London what's uh, the distractions in London? everything tape. I mean there's, you can you can do whatever you want in, in London I mean if you want to go shopping you want to go out if you want to sightseeing tourism whatever you want to do it's just so many things to do where did you live in London? Not far from Motor Park. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Wait, you Craven Cottage? No, that's no Motor Park is training. Oh, I, I was saying you said it was a beautiful place. I was thinking Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage is one of the dead, bruv. <laughs> nah, that's uh, one of man, the best. Man, bump it. Man can just walk in, just slip past someone <laughs> and pay him for a ticket, yeah, that's brother. Craven I Craven actually Craven. like that stadium. It's the closest stadium to Highbury. It's like that that close impact with the like with the fans right there. Nah, nah, nah that's now. a good stadium. Mix it up now. Nah. Oh, All the stadiums beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stadium. stadium. Beautiful, beautiful stadium. stadium. They're, they're coming back in it. They're in the prem now. They're back. I'm glad they're back, man. Fulham, yeah, man. All day have safe standing in them teams. Nah, man. Bring Fulham back. Like now with the Arsenal stadium. I mean, when you, it's. It's too far away. I mean, no, that's be, West Ham. I, <laughs> West, played, Ham, West Ham as well. Away. But Highbury, I played for Highbury. It was he played against the Invincibles. I know you lost four two. Mad. Michael Owen scored. I think you were two one up at half time. You thought, Ey! and then Henri said, Highbury scored as well. So I don't know. I rate that. Just saying. Oh wait, didn't he? Be, wait, did you play in the, the Perez game as well? When Perez was shit, dog shit the whole game, and then he scored top bins two one Anfield. Probably yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Don't remember those. <laughs> and I scored against him at Anfield as well. What game was that? Uh, I just smashed it from 20 yards. It <laughs> the post. That's what I know. Yeah, that's, that's a Risa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I thought it every week. I that's it every how week. it goes. No, I, I used to love to play, but it's so hard to play against Arsenal because of the. They have Jungberg, Pires, Thierry Henry, Vieira. Vieira. Oh my. Gilberto Silva. Yeah, and the right back when I scored at Highbury was the right was was it Oleg Lushny? Lushny was playing, my brother. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Lushny. I knew you would like that. Legend, Wait, Ukrainian again. Another Premier League, League winner. Man. Yeah. Oh, what a good side, man. There's a player that's in the league right now that you played with. I don't know if you remember playing with him, but you must remember Dan Burn. Dan Burn, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he just got reminded. He's a wonder kid, you know. Newcastle. Yeah. Yeah, what and a great move, by the way. Yeah. Didn't see that coming when I was uh, when I played with him. No. <laughs> he, was, he was young then. And he, uh, too big. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had Brother Hagelin as well, you so you must have had like... You can't by saying he was young then. <laughs> Odegaard moved to Real Madrid at 15. We nah, we had no talent then or...? I didn't see him playing for Newcastle at that time, no. I'm, I'm honest with you, but he took, you know, he, he he took steps and, like you said, Brett Hangland was tall, some hippier, yeah. the same when that play for. So, but he he's got a great left foot though, the passing wise, and and uh, he's get he's a lot tactical smarter than he was back then. So he's taking steps. Damba's quality. It'll be a good sign if he's not. Oh yeah. wow! Well, uh, uh, what? You just missed out on a Burnley one. It'll be a good sign. Stay there, Nathan right. Collins. You missed out, big man. It'll that would have been a good sign. It'll be a good sign if he's. I don't know. Oh, man United need a lot of signings. You need friend. about thirty. You man. need a whole back we're, line. We're, we're getting signings. We'll be all right. You won't because Yuzot's window the other day. Yuzot was going crazy for your window. Yeah. What Yuzot done? You got like a backup. Big man. Frankie De Jong's agreed, and he don't want to move. He don't want to move. He's happy in Barcelona, smoking weed. What are you doing? We've just signed one. What are you doing? You finished eleven points behind us last season. Look at you. You're losing weight. You look are stressed. I'm your stress. You are stressed. I'm in the prime Man United fans are stressed. <laughs> I'm in the form of my life. I mean, you are, but it's in the team that you represent. Back. Six what? Listen, it's crazy. Oh, you wouldn't know nothing about this. Of course I would. Anyway, we're doing all right. <laughs> we're building slowly. You building what? Slow, slow. Building slow, what? Slowly. <laughs> what? What slowly. are you building over there? You've been building since what 2013. Because he's come out now and he's saying it's not an Arsenal thing. He's saying if he's coming, Premier wants to come United. Okay, that's so fantastic. Like just, just head to head, you just ain't ready. Take him. You're 11 yeah, points you behind us. Just you head need to head, you're just not ready. You like. need it, bro. You, know what I'm you see that just Your the team's stature washed. of the two clubs. And yeah. One second, one second. Let me ask a question. John, how does it's it feel crazy. now? Because obviously we're Arsenal fans and we, like, the rivalry with Man United it was it was very high at a, at a point 2004-2003. No one cared. Now, I want to ask him a question. No one in Manchester cared. How does it feel to you knowing that they're absolute failures right now? And they're just scrambling to even get into the Champions League. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But the thing is, though, he he's typical Man United oh, now because oh, wow. he's take, talking. Take the oh. Can you describe a typical Man United fan for us? Please? At the moment now, because they 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 can't really see the the no, issue. They can't see the yeah. the reality. Yeah. The reality. Yes, exactly. yes, yes. And now they are bad they are miles behind. Miles, miles. Me, they're me behind. 
<laughs> you listening? You can't listen to behind, him behind bias. Liverpool and Man City. Have you seen the way he tweets, the way he talks about United? You got no business talking about United like that. You don't even, like you're not even from Liverpool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's a scouse, man. <laughs> Freedom of speech. <laughs> 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 no, but what I mean is like they are in a in a in a in a difficult place now. Yes, it's they're much behind it's City and, uh, and Liverpool. Yeah, they're definitely. How many yeah. years do you think? What till we catch them? Oof. We're getting close to them. Get close to them. Yeah. Um, said, no, catch them, catch them. Catch lad, I'll see my kids <laughs> before that happens. You're talking at this time last year they had a Norwegian manager, by the way. So it's well, not I'm like he's like, you know what I mean? He's close. Our project, our project has started. You know what I'm trying to say? So we have to see how um, Ten Hag goes. But I reckon your project started three, ten years, years after Ferguson's left. Three years. The new, the new project, the new Ten Hag's era, the Ten Hag era. But do you think he gets? He can get. I what I see is a problem is that football players think, why should I go to a club that are struggling? Like with Maguire, they paid, was it 80? 80, yeah. They had to pay that because they, they were desperate for a centre back. Now they, they play sit and do the same thing. They know Man United are desperate for players. So the agent can sit there, nah, nah. And they have to go up the price, up the price. Because United you know needs players. De Jong, De Jong doesn't want to play. Don't for listen you. to the new. They owe him seventy million. He wants his money, bro. De Jong does not want to play for Man United. Doesn't, doesn't want to play money. for Man United. Ten Hag would have spoke to De Jong at least what twenty times by now. He would be a psychopath if he was still chasing him and he didn't want to come. If he didn't want to come and he was still doing this, we're in the mud. That means our gaffer's an absolute idiot. It is the money, yeah. He wants to get his money. They're probably trying to make United pay some of it. They need to sort out the money. There's low e bonuses and all these things. Probably got to stay there to a certain date, and then he's gonna get it done. Remember the fees. Remember the fees agreed. You know they're just trying to. But how do you know? Um, the story broke this morning. Um, it's from Czech Spain's publications. <laughs> <laughs> no, just asking, how do you know they're still chasing him or this, the deal is still on? Basically, from what As I read this said it. No, nah, from what I read this morning, they're saying. So you believe everything you read? Not all of he it. He does. Yeah. Not all of it. It's the, the terms are agreed. It's just on. Um, De Jong, they said either go to United or take the pay cut. They just don't want to pay him his money, basically. It's not about him wanting to come to United. Why wouldn't he want to link up Ten Hag again? What happens, what happens if he doesn't come? What's next? I don't know. We just move forward, innit? But the one thing about United, the good thing, the manager you got is the right one. He's, he, I think he's brilliant. The, but he needs to get his type of play, and that takes time. But because he's trying he, to do that now. Yeah, but it's hard because players, they need to want to play for him. Yeah. Because United in a, in, in, in a difficult position now because they had a couple of bad seasons. So they need to build up, like you said, three, four, whatever years. He's going to need a good few windows and he's going to need to implement exactly. his style. He's a good coach. He's going to improve players. Yeah, but how many windows before he implements his style? Because big man, you're not in a league with dead managers. There's Klopp here, there's Pep here, there's big managers there's Conte, that have got their Arteta. style and they're calm. So when are you going to catch gonna up with them? It's not going to be easy by any means. Part? But look at Klopp. He, he did, used a couple, two, three years as well to build his squad. So you have to give Ten Hag. Uh, and now United knows where they position it, they are not going to fight. They know they, they're not even close to being fighting for a title. They need to build up by a few windows. They're behind Tottenham as well. Tottenham are there. Spurs have had a good window as well, man. Uh, they're behind us. Who what do you mean, Urs? Man United. Oh, Man United. I thought you meant Tottenham. Yeah, Why yeah. would you make up your face? What's, what, Spurs haven't had a good window? They've had a better window than you. Yeah, you're right. And what? Not than you they have had a better, they've they've had had a better window than most people. They've had a better window than Arsenal. Not Arsenal. Yes, they have. They have. They've had a better window than you. They haven't had a better window than Arsenal. Who's, who's had the best window, though? Not Liverpool. City, yeah. Oh, I don't know, though. They've lost Sterling, though. They didn't really lose him. I don't think that's a loss. Nah, they to didn't them. really play. It wasn't that guy last year. I don't know about Richarlison. Richarlison's a, a weird one, depending on how that goes. They spent six million Spurs, on the man. Spurs have done all right. Have they got Jed Spence in? Or is that still just not yet? No. No. Okay. Like, cool. Langlet, so who've they got? Richarlison and Basuma. They got Basuma, Basuma's, Basuma's and Perisic. Cold. Perisic. That's a decent window. Yeah. And that's a cold window. Ling, window. Ling, Ling Lay. They've yeah, had a Ling better Lay. season. Yep. Better window than us. Yep. Yes, it is. It's very good. It is. It's a good window. It is a very good window. Established. Come on, man. Don't do that. To be honest, we talk about United. We talk about United, but. Where's Arsenal though? Oh, thank you. Now nah, let's have this is the conversation. No, no, I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Where's Arsenal? We're, we're where talking about Liverpool today. Where, where did they stand after last season? Where you, was it a good season last year? Um, it yes. was. It was yes. a decent season. Yeah. Okay. Our expectations. We at the beginning of the season, we all think where we're going to place our players. Where we place our team? Sorry. Eighth. He said seventh. He said eighth. We said eighth. Seventh. Sixth. Where did we came fifth. One point behind. We Tottenham. overachieved. We overachieved. Of course, but we. Uh, you have to be realistic. Exactly. That's what. That's a different. Piece. These guys are not realistic. That's my point. John, thank you. Oh, you were trying you to make thought, a point you to kill him. You thank something. you, <laughs> my brother. You're on our team, John. I like the that. The fact that you had top four in your own hands, Champions League in your own destiny. That like if it was you a lot, disappointment. If you lot do your thing, no one else can stop you lot. Yeah, and you lot crumbled and messed that, messed that up, fumbled that bad. You still think it was a good season? Yes. Brother, Ronaldo wants season. to leave. Don't worry about what's happening over here. What's that going to do you, with anything? Brother, we had a great season. You're just really upset. You can't, you you can't say you had a great season, season coming fifth, man. We did. You're, you're relying facts. on players, yeah, that are young, 
haven't really played that much Premier League football. And why am I going to have expectations that Aiden Nakati is going to go mad? Doesn't I think, make so, it great, though. I think United's going to get young players, so they're going to get the same. Then they so fifth, sixth players? is a good position. Then. They've got young players. No, no, no. With what they, they, the investment that they've put in. You don't sign Ronaldo, Varane, and Sancho to finish six, eleven points no, behind no. Arsenal. Last season, that is but a now with a new manager. Now, last last season was um, was awful. Yeah. yeah, but this this look, you got a new manager in. I remember we got a new manager in our shoe shop. Okay. Just the people there were so still the problem. If we finish fifth or sixth this season coming up, is that good? No, uh, no. That's a failure. Sixth is bad. A fifth then, if you finish. It's fifth. not that fifth bad because good, yeah. everyone in front of us is better than us. Nice. But realistically, you can't really say to me, player for player. That Man United are better, um, Arsenal are better than Man United because I don't think we are, but we're above you. So this stinks. Eleven points as well. That stinks. Bro. My my expectations stinks. on Arsenal, not even Arsenal, but more so Arteta this season, is to win or get to the Europa League final minimum for me, and make top four. That is it. Now seriously, you're asking a lot. You're asking for a lot. You're asking a lot. No seriously, why am I asking a lot? Why am I asking a lot? Can I come back in about twelve months time and no 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 no? That's my expectation. He needs to. Uh, if he doesn't make if he doesn't make top four, he has to get to the Europa League or the, um, the Europa League final. Has to has to have to win it. Yeah, but what's nah, the nah, plan nah, of getting to the final no? if you're not gonna win it? Stay so who's home, gonna man. be a top four then, in your opinion? Well, it's gonna be Liverpool and City, and I think it's it's a shootout between um, Arsenal, um, Tottenham, and Chelsea. I think that's a shootout. Yeah. Why? How many points did we finish? But how many points did we finish behind Tottenham? Okay, it's a shootout. As you you was way off. It was eleven points. You're not nowhere near is us. It, I'm saying, is there a fair shootout? Or some some people got rocket launchers and you've got <laughs> some yeah. men have yeah. got rocket launchers. What kind of shootout is this? Well, I, I just want to know. They got a full it, season of well, Antonio Conte. That that's good. a sh- that's a shotgun. Yo, you got two two. I think I don't think it's well. If anything, it's more closer between Chelsea and Arsenal because they just lost Lukaku. I hear that. Lukaku's nothing to do with it. They've lost their centre backs. They lost their owner. Let's do that. They lost. I don't care. That's got nothing to do with me. No, that's the thing that's gonna hurt them most. I don't care. They've lost their centre backs. Well, their new owners running around Barcelona trying to do deals. Roman Abramovich was not interested in doing deals. He was sending. What well, they're teams. trying, but they're yeah, not but getting. He was allowed places. They're not getting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> they're not getting anyone. <laughs> so it go. wasn't by he choice. The, oh, what's, the, the, what's the thing called Oleg? Huh? Gulag. The Gulag. No, the, oh, the, the oligarchs. Oh, oligarchs. He sings the oligarchs to do the deals. You ain't got no choice. You're getting in that Viano, whether you like it or Allegedly. not. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. You, get in, uh, you just see a tin in that Viano, blindfolded. Next thing you know, you're at Stamford Bridge. It's <laughs> a lot of Viano talk from you. John, today. did you have a lot of uh, fights as a footballer? And where are you going now? <laughs> <laughs> I just why why the glasses on? I just want. <laughs> oh, no, no. He wore these specially for you. And look, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. I just scared. want to know the type of players you fought. I didn't have like physical fight or just talking. Who was you every like weekend in the tunnel? You. No one. Did you ever play against Kieran Dyer? Yeah. He had Jundis. Was it difficult to play against him? Because <laughs> obviously he's got yellow eyes. You, you know Jundis, isn't it? He's got yellow eyes. So apparently, if he looks at you for long, you're blinded. You lose the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he's very good at tackling. <laughs> We don't want to fight Kieran Dyer. What I can say, what I can say we, before any game, you knew certain players that we wanted to smash in game, who annoyed you or had, was something that. You, for example, for example, let's say you know that if I knew you, yeah. he get upset if I stamp on him or or do something, and he would get aggressive and maybe get a yellow card or, or react, and he could be sent off. We knew this before a game, so certain players that he would think that, okay, give him some. Talk to him, get him angry, make him react to something because yellow card, free kick, penalties, red cards. That you knew that before the game, so we could. And I always looked at my right winger when I was left winger, left back or left wing. I knew who I was playing against, so I can know how to to do my thing. What players in particular you knew that you could wind them up? Suarez. Did he ever call you a black card? Hated playing as quick players like Aaron Lennon, Theo Walker, those players because when you're a dribbler, it's easier to read where, where they're going but if you're quick not can run like I play uh, when you play in the new yeah but you wasn't uh, slow though John. no but the thing as a defender you're standing like you know what's coming the, PK they, listen they, are you listening if, if they play the ball 50 yards behind you and you're sprinting as Tia Walcott I mean I know <laughs> 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 he's, he's looking he's I looking, know he's, he's looking at your centre back like, you gotta think about you gotta get in the box I can read the path I can start half an hour before I still know he's gonna catch me <laughs> But when you play against certain players who dribbles and, and, and it, the pace is not the, the strength, it's easy for me to you know use my body and my strength and, and tackle. You know what I mean? Because they do, just don't ping the ball behind me. They get the ball in the feet and you can challenge. What about revenge? 
What do you mean? You know, you play against a player and then next season comes around and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, know, who, you know who fucked you up mm. and <laughs> makes you look bad. <laughs> you know. Uh, but I mean, more like if somebody hurt you or, or, or stood on you or were dirty against you, you, you remember and, 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 and wanted to give something back the next time. But it's not easy because uh, you don't never know what's going to happen in a game. So you, you try to pretend, okay, this is going to happen, but you never know. But there's certain things that, I, for example, if I, I remember one challenge with, <clears throat> with Alan Shearer, who was a f monster physically. When I'm a defender and the ball comes high and I'm running from behind and, and heading, you know, you're going to win 99 out of 100 from behind normally because you jump up and you just crush. I used to love that and give the little elbow and stuff. <laughs> I did the same with Shearer. I tried to meet Shearer, the ball is coming, I'm running, and it's just, it just like I hit a brick wall. I, I just, I, boom, and it, it didn't move. Yeah. He was so strong. He was a master at that though. He, oh my he, God. With the elbows yeah, as well. Yeah, and it was just yeah. to the same yeah. as Slotin and Bohemus as well. You just you, you want to give them something from behind, but just, nah, there's a brick wall there. Duncan no Ferguson? Oh, he wasn't there around that time. Sorry? You no, played with Duncan, Duncan Ferguson. Ferguson. Did you play against Duncan Ferguson? Yeah, I played yeah, with yeah. him. Yeah. Brick wall? Yeah. Big dunk. Wall. He's <laughs> 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 I thought that was Big strong. <laughs> One player that you played with uh, that is, a, is like a legend around here, Jermaine Pennant. Yeah, Pennant, yeah. Yeah, we we love Jermaine Pennant. We love him. I love him as well. What a guy. I loved him on Jeremy Kyle. No, he, he, he was unbelievable funny. <laughs> he was good at, you know, he had great skills, good crossing, uh, stamina. But um, he also, I don't say I want to say he lost his way when it comes to professional, but he he didn't, he wasn't professional 100% 24-7 all the time. And that at the end, that catches up to you. Uh, at that it's, level, yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. but uh, I love him. He was so funny and always smiling and laughing and and, and having fun with his football. Uh, but I think stuff outside football uh, maybe disturbs him a little bit. Is he one of those players like obviously uh, has Jeff? You probably talk about a player who the, half the dressing room probably was every time he walked in the room like fucking hell. Is Pennant one of those guys? Everyone's kind of like, yeah, Jermaine's here. Yeah, you, you smile when you see him. You feel good because he makes you feel good. You know, he's a, he was a good teammate. He was always supporting you and, and making you laugh and funny. And he makes you think about other stuff than football all the time, which is important because some people are just taking football 24 7. It just. Harry Kane. Oh, yeah. it kills you mentally. So, Harry Kane. It's true, though. Harry Kane. Uh, you were that kind of player, weren't you? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite. I saw Son out the other day. Where? Living life. Where? Flip out. So. Jump giant. <laughs> So this is so so I'm so glad there was no so social media when I was active. Yeah. Is it? Why? Where, Why? Would, we, where, would, we, where would we have found you? <laughs> no, no. I, more like rumors. <laughs> no, but now you can't even go peeing in the right direction and uh, people put on Snapchat or Instagram or whatever. Pep Guardiola rode his bike. And someone chased him. Yeah, on I the saw the bike. video. <laughs> I don't, under I don't <laughs> understand why they chased him and he got off the bike. Though. Now he looked so scared and angry. No, yeah, I would have said I would have said more frustrated that than even scared. He was just so uh, he looked so annoyed. I think he, I think he was angry at his bike. Because <laughs> there's no way that guy's fitter than him. So how could he not out outride him? That's he what I mean. He got off the though. bike. Yeah. He must have been like that guy's fitter than him. He was in gear one. Well, well, chain. <laughs> his chain came. He was in slick gear. He was in slick gear. Imagine walking around alley and Pep's fixing his bike chain. That's a stinker. He needs to call that kid in for trials because he's got an engine on him. I read, I read this book. I, can't, I, I actually can't remember what player it was, but I remember him saying when Charlie Adam rocked up at Liverpool, you weren't there, I don't think, when no. Charlie Adam arrived. But in training, Stephen Gerrard looking at him and going like, like, what the fuck is going on here? This is not a Liverpool player. Did anyone come in to Liverpool at your time where you, they rocked up in pre-season? You were like, Ooh. Oh yeah, Julio was manager. One time he signed <laughs> a bagger, man. He signed like five guys. Diao. There was barely I like Diao. At least someone um, did. Don't you dare disrespect Warren and Eva. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when a new player comes in, you first impression is important. And that was, I was lucky because normally the first impression is, is a fitness test. And I, I used to win every fitness test. So for me, it was a good thing. But when it comes to football wise, you always look at new players and thinking, you know, you know, excited, okay, who is he? How good is he? Because you, you obviously knew who he is, but you want to see him. Yes, there was quite a few players you think. <laughs> Yo, shit. Wow. No. Mm. <laughs> 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 you think, how, how did you end up here? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's more like the first impression wasn't good. Yeah, yeah. Whose first and impression wasn't good? No, I can't say. 
Oh man, was it, was it is it something small like their touch or they just they're not? Their no, fitness? it's more like thing is though English football is different than any other league when it comes to uh, to playing in the Premier League because it, you know the stamina, the tempo, the energy level is so much different. So when you, when you get players from different countries, is they don't understand it until they have been there for a few months. So you have to give them time, but. So uh, it was more like the foreign player coming in and thinking, you know, it, maybe it's like tiki taka football, but then you come and the first thing you meet is CVG, <laughs> smashes you. Think, welcome to Premier League. Well, speaking of that, Jamie Carragher, obviously you played with him. He's a pundit now, he's second biggest pundit in the country now. You why, se why second? Because Gary's there. That's come that. on, man. You know Gary's the biggest, the, the, not even the, the best. You know Gary's the best pundit no. in the country. I think he's, he's very good. Very, very, very good. I, I love two of them. Knowledge is better. He might, he might, he might be a dickhead or a prick or you might not like him, but he's very knowledgeable about football. Do no? you want? Do, do you really want to win this one just because he's United? <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred yeah. yeah, yeah. percent. Jamie um, had an injury though. I, 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 I like, I like Jamie as well. What about Mika Richards? No, Mika's good as well. He's up there. Oh, I love him more. Oh, he's funny. He's See? got a good laugh. He's laugh. He's laugh. Yeah, he's unbelievable. And Mika and Jamie are good together as well. They do the Champions League thing with the bird. Mika's good. He hangs around. He hangs around in gardens in little pools. Yeah, but what did Kala say? You said. I was what I was gonna say is that um, John it was actually trending today wow. because of his punditry. What did you do? What did I you say? I, I didn't even try. My brother, wait till you start trying. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done it a few times. <laughs> uh, he's what, trending. What was he was very, very honest at half time in Norway women's versus England women's eight nil yesterday. Eight nil. Oh, it was Norway they played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They battered them. Yeah, eight nil. So how did you feel about that? <laughs> Well, I made my feelings heard <laughs> on the <laughs> BBC yesterday. Yeah. No, but the thing is, when you're a pundit, and I, I think the problem is too many pundits are trying to, they're not honest enough. When it, you know, when, my job is to say what I, what I look at and what I see on the pitch from my experiences. And if I see something is, is bad, if it's Liverpool or whoever, it doesn't matter. My job is to express my, um, my thoughts. And Noah was absolutely crap yesterday, 16 of half times. So I just gave them pathetic, embarrassing, blah, blah, all this. And people don't do that when it comes to women football. I'm thinking, nah. why not? Yeah, yeah when yeah. you talk like that, does your like phone start to ring? Everyone's calling you like, yo, what are you doing? Well, I, uh, glad there was a bad uh, connection yesterday on my 4G uh, on, on the stadium. But yeah, there was, uh, it was busy, yeah. It was a busy line, say no more. Come on. Because you're coaching as well. You're coaching women's football at the moment. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's not like you're just coming and watching and going 8-0, that I know I could do the maths, that's bad. You're going, I know that's shocking. No, it's more like, for me, I'm, when I used to play as well, I'm looking at players' body language, you know? Because people think the fans, all the fans want to see is that you give 100%. You can miss pass, you can and have a bad game when it comes to skill-wise, but work, run, fight, do something, show that you, it means something to you. Too many players forget that. And they think, oh, I need to score. No, the fans just want to see that you, you, you fight for your shirt. And if that's the best team you're playing against, lose, but lose yeah, but it's really Lose so, the honor. So, so that's what I did every game. You know, um, most of the time I ran most of the game and tried to, to win, even though I was, I was crap some games as well. So yesterday when I saw the women's team, I think, and Norway's team, I think nobody's running, fighting. Uh, the body line was just awful. It gives a wrong signal to the fans who came and supported them. And I thought, that's, you know, this is professional football players. They need to show more pride. And they didn't. So I just did you have a, Did you have an ex-player when you were playing who you felt like was harsh to you on TV and punditry and everything? No, I, I mean, now it's more because now it's more social media. So you, you get, you see more. when I would play, then it wasn't that much. Obviously Sky Sport was big, but you know, it wasn't this big as now. But I think players just expect to, football is so big that you, you know, people will comment on everything you do. Uh, you can't please anybody, uh, everybody. So it's, it's uh, but yeah, I, 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 it's more like I got stick from my players in my team, like CVG would give me a hard time during the game, carry the same thing, just to, it's not to put you down, it's more like to wake you up. Keep you focused, yeah. yeah. Wake you up and hey, step it up now. Erling Haaland. Massive. He's here now. Not everyone thinks he's gonna work. I don't know why you're hammering up. I'm cause, cause I'm one of them guys. Shock from a United fan. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he didn't come to you, so just get over with it. <laughs> so oh yeah, Solskjaer, Solskjaer. everyone said he was going United. He was never going yeah, there. Obviously, Solskjaer left. He so. was, he was close. He was close. When was it close? Was it close? It, there was talks. Ago. Yeah, yeah. If you see his goal scoring at Dortmund, he scored ninety five percent of the goals inside a eighteen yard box. Where does City score the goals? 
inside the 18-yard box. And that's what they was missing in certain games. They needed a striker. He is so... Okay, the, the only thing that's going to be different from Dortmund and now is that he won't have the space in behind defenders as much as in Dortmund because all defend, uh, opposition is going to defend deep. But they're going to have so much touches and tiki-taka around the 18-yard box. And he's just going to... And he's shoot. He can shoot he his can right get in, foot. But right he, can he foot. get involved in the tiki-taka? Yeah, and he's strong as well. You know, Van Dijk said, you know, he's one of the best strikers he's met. And he's only 22. So he, he can shoot his right, left. He's, he works over his heading, but he's so good his movement because he's waiting. And the way City play football... Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you look at Liverpool with Firmino, City with Jesus... Um, United, Ronaldo, uh, United are in porn. Jesus was Arsenal. Arsenal, Lacazette, Tottenham. Kane, Kane plays kind of like a in the, the the false nine, but he also scores like. Now they're going with a nine, like, in this day and age, in the Premier League, is that too much of a shock? Is he going to come in and they're going to know how to play with him? With Holland, yeah. Uh, I like his interview. He said he's going to uh, adapt how they play, but. Guardiola said they're going to adapt to him you know but I think everybody's going to play the same but they have a different striker up front than they used to have now he's more powerful he's more physical presence than they used to have but to losing Sterling and Jesus and replacing him with Haaland it's like that feels like it's a complete change like yeah, change changing well, the way they play I'd rather have Haaland he, he, Jesus, uh, Jesus in, in the team yeah. Sterling I like because he, he never know what he can do, good days and bad days. Uh, so I, I think that's a loss for them. But they got Jack Grealish over there. Yeah, I, I feel I feel so sorry for him last year because he didn't get into his his stripe. Because I love him as a player, but uh, I hope he can step it up. Uh, you think this is the season he's going to break out? This is his. I hope so. Breakout season. I think it's better for him as well when when they have Holland because you can you can play up to a number nine, link up better for Grealish than they used to they used to. Say, you don't hope they yeah, he comes good. Sorry? Liverpool only care about one team in the world right now. So just, just let the fans know. You actually hope that it flops and... No, but I like play, I like people. You know? Yeah, and, and you know... <laughs> I no, I tried. You tried, I tried to I say tried, it, but it's nothing Nah, he's keeping it 100. Listen, Liverpool fans know I'm, I'm Liverpool uh, inside and out. But at the same time, I, I want people to succeed, you know? They say that we say, hold on, or I hope you don't succeed. That's no, his fellow country. No, of no. course I do. Nah, score 50 goals and finish second. It's all good. They still got to beat Liverpool, you know? Uh, and I think this, this season is going to be between the two teams again. Uh, hopefully, for the f sake of Premier League, it might be closer between the, those two and the, the rest. But who knows? Man United, <coughs> Haaland, Haaland, Haaland star probably would have been suited better. Man United, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not now under Ten Hag because we don't know what it's going to be like. But definitely, like when Oli was there, like Haaland would be perfect. No one would be there to create anything for him. How interested has Norway been in Odegaard? In, when we're told that, like since he was like fourteen, he's like the king oh, yeah. of Norway. He came into the you know the Premier League of Norway quite at 14, 15 and started doing the step overs and things that we don't normally see in in, in Norwegian league uh, at that young age. No confidence was sky high. Didn't have any doubt or anything. But then you know he'd made some moves here and there. Made to Madrid, loaned out to different clubs, and so people started doubting him at the end because he was going back and forth never breaking into a Madrid team and, and he just even though he did well when he was loaned out came to Arsenal and just something just happened uh, his confidence back his, his, his the way I feel that in the beginning even at Arsenal he, he played too many passes square and backwards just being too safe yeah. and that's not him I mean I could see that so he just needed to get his confidence back and start playing forward and being that taking players on as yeah. well yeah and when he did that like last season i think it was it was it was brilliant and uh, yeah, his yeah. first six months at arsenal wasn't really no uh, you could see there was a player there he'll come out in glimpses yeah and then but last season he towards was, the back end as well yeah. last season he last was season crazy. he was going crazy for and now arsenal. and now all the teams will know about him so I'm, now i'm a little bit you know interested to see how he's gonna adapt to Moving without the ball, with the ball, if because people will try and man mark him and man mark, him. smash him, yeah. take him out, and that's the next step now to see. Okay, and he will do because he he he's lively. You know, he moves around all the place, and I'm so happy for him because I think he's gonna have great numbers this season because he's got a striker like Jesus now. That's great in and out the box, good movement. If they get a good relation, I think it's gonna be a huge step. You say get, getting smashed in games. I'm I so feel confident. like that's less and less now. Yeah, in the Premier League. I agree. Yeah. 
How, how different? You don't have the Roy Keane, CVG, uh, Jamie Carragher. Respectfully, Bottom. you might have got a red card a few a few times this season like in this kind of day and age because they used to, used to smash three players. That's not now with the like. uh, VAR, it's... it's, <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> you can't do all the <laughs> things you did, but... And I, I even I played seven years and I didn't get one red card for 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 what? Liverpool. What is it? Oh, that's oh sorry. To, <laughs> we, we you didn't to, get one red card about to for Liverpool. No bias, man. He caused a lot. He caused a lot of damage in that time. I know. Bro. I know. <laughs> he gave you context, bro. There's no VAR. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got eleven yellow cards in seven years. Eleven yellows in seven years. I think. I think eleven. it was. It's Liverpool bias, bro. That is he that's gets that season. Bias. That is bribery. Yeah, I get, I get like the timeout. You know, mid-season timeout. Yeah. When you yeah. Got oh, too many when, oh, no, when it oh, tops. That. Yeah. <laughs> you get five. too many points and you lose your license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just totally no, bad. but I think I was, I, I was quite an honest player. I wasn't like the one who was shouting at referees and saying stuff, and and, and I was not a dirty player. I would just try to be okay, tough but fair, uh, and that maybe I could have been even more tough. But uh, are you uh, still in touch with John Carew? Yeah. What's he doing? Wait, bef before you answer that, how do you say his name in Norwegian? Jun Kareb. Huh? Pardon? Say that one more time. Jun Kareb. Jun Kareb. It's not Karu. Oh, so I've butchered it. We I'm butchered sorry. it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, not us, man. It's Martin Blame. Tyler and Martin Denmark, Tyler, yeah, Champions League guys. Yeah, but it's more easier, man. Just Karu uh, is easier. John Karu, as you say in English, he's uh, playing his golf, he's doing his photographing, he's golf? Love taking photos. Yeah. He's a photographer. Yeah, he loves taking photos, yeah. John Carew paid 100 bags for a Porsche that didn't come. What? what? He was the victim of fraud. I, read, I remember <laughs> that story. You've done that research? No, I remember that story. Okay, yeah. He did what? He paid, he paid for a car and the car didn't come. I'm sh surprised he didn't call you. <laughs> 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 he's, he's, he, no, he's more like an actor, though. He's an actor? Yeah, yeah. Now? Oh, yeah. He's... he's He's I can see him doing that though, that modeling no, acting. He's doing some oh, uh, yeah. well, you films and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You fancy John Carew? No, he's a good looking man. Real recognized, real man. D was, was Snooze a big thing when you was playing football? A what? Snooze. Uh, yeah. Was that a big thing? But a it, lot of yeah, footballers yeah. done. It's more of the powder one. You have to make them, make it themselves, not like. Make it yourself. You, what have, do you, you, mean? Had, you had the same, I saw you had one before. Yeah. Right? You have to do it yourself. Is it, yeah? And then what do you put it in then? No, just straight in. So just wait, uh, wait, wait. Just the tobacco. Just the tobacco, you yeah. put it straight in. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's mine. I will show you. I'm going to try it now. One in and <laughs> straight in. Rip the whole bag and then put it I never, straight I never in. tried. You've never tried it, yeah? That's good, then don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, for, I'm 41, I know I can take care of myself. I mean, okay, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's got good advice, man. Don't try auditions. Don't try. What, what else should we try? Don't try. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't try. Don't, don't don't do drugs. One thing I was thinking, right? You went to Roma. Obviously, you went in Monaco, so you you travelled a bit, right? And I was thinking, how do you, we spoke to Micah Richards about when he went to Fiorentina, and he said best year of his career. Lifestyle was amazing, sunny, and everything was just beautiful. How do you think Tammy Abraham? is doing in Rome. What, what kind of city is Rome for someone, an English kind of player? No, but he he's English, but he's he's a, a person who enjoys life. You know, it, like he smiles on the pitch, you know, can see he's, he's a guy who gets excited by passion. And, you know, like the last season when they they won the cup and everything, you, you can see that when the fan, the stadium is full, he, he, he grows on it, you know, uh, and he's very, very, very respected in, in Rome now. So I think he's enjoying it because of obviously the city, the culture, the maybe the nightlife as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And the football is going well. So I think it's perfect for him because the way he is as a person, it looks like, I don't know him personally, but uh, I see all the games and he, he looks really happy. And I think M M Mourinho has taken Good care of him. Mm. How how is Rome? What's Rome like? Because you were there with Totti, it must have been. Well, I I didn't go out much because being a ginger in Rome, it doesn't. <laughs> there's not there's not many of us. <laughs> 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 and I was probably the whitest person there when it comes to no tan or anything. So I was well easily uh, recognized. So I wasn't much out much. But um, there was one story with Totti. We used to we beat Lazio in a in a derby when going out in like in a big massive disco it's an open roof because it was so warm and so all the players were going out and he came with his cup and he stopped just outside the, the door left the key with the the, the the valley we walked in and there was like a vip area with like 20 tables or something and it was full packed 
And we had with us 15 security from our team, and we got 10 from the place. We had 25 security. So we're walking in, uh, you can see people staring at Totti. So suddenly the VIP room was emptied, and people had paid for those tables, you know, like you do in London, you pay for a table, you get three. So emptied, mm-hmm. and it was like, you could see people like, why are we getting. Then Totti comes, and then people standing like... Yeah, they just beat Lazio, no, no, man. Was, Come on. There was nothing like... Nobody was upset about losing the drinks or the table. They saw Totti and thought, okay, the guard is in, and just like take our table. So it was just... Then I realized, wow. That's John, let that be London. If they don't care, they don't care, no. Give I would let Totti take my table in London. I, I wouldn't. No, but I've got to get half of my own. I wouldn't. But that shows how big he is, though. I like that. Nah, brother. It's no, our no, table okay, now. Bro. It's our table. Who, yeah, let's who, share. Who, 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 who would you take your table? No one. How about that? What? Ian Wright? Zidane. Ian Wright's definitely not taking my table I was now. with Ian Wright yesterday. We were doing the yeah, BBC thing. Yeah, he did the women's again. Oh, yeah. he's funny. Was there, was there ever a time when Totti was rumoured to be leaving? Because we always heard he was going Real Madrid one day. Well, there, well, there was uh, rumours Well, there was only in his prime. Mm. Uh, That's like O. Oh, Three yeah, four. he was probably rumored to go to different like Madrid and even Barcelona and stuff, the big ones. But you know, he was captain from the age of eighteen, uh, so uh, one man club, brother. He, he he he. There was <laughs> when Claudio Ranieri was the coach. We we played Genoa away, and Totti was on the bench in that game, and we were winning three uh, nil. They came back to three all, and. Um, they, he put Totti on the last five minutes. The day after the paper was rumours that uh, Ranier will get sacked because of disrespect to Totti. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I actually remember that. And he's like thinking, that shows you how big he is though. Yeah. Touching on Totti staying, you say he's going to leave. When Gerard was, when he was there with Gerard, there was really Chelsea. Like, really? Chelsea. I remember the yellow bar. The yellow bar at the bottom yeah, of the screen. Was, I thought, he's getting Chelsea. Was, it, was there any truth behind that or was he just... To leave? I never watched yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did he really want to go? Yeah, he, he didn't. Really we, he didn't want to go. Mean, he's but in the dre- sorry, 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 he's in the dressing room. We're asking him. You're not there. He was very close to leaving, but not because he wanted to. But his the uh, th- the my understanding was the the thing he heard from the club and the ambition from Liverpool wasn't what he hoped for and 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 saw in the next few years, and he wanted to be able to have a chance to win. Trophies, uh, but then at the end, obviously, he, he Jordan didn't. Henderson never even would have considered it. <laughs> Jordan Henderson would have been like, no. Either you're a fan of Jordan Henderson or you're his cousin, the best captain in Liverpool history, Champions League, Premier League. You won in the Premier League, man. Come on, boy, at home. What can you say? He doesn't need. I don't need to ride for him. He's, well, no, he's, right, he's, he's Liverpool's greatest captain. <laughs> um. John does not even acknowledge it. <laughs> 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 it doesn't make sense. John, I'm with you. It doesn't make sense. It's what it is. It's what it is. It's from, the fir- from the first second, I just ignore what he's saying. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make sense. Yeah. You you won the league at Monaco, right? I won the league at Monaco. Yeah, at least you got your league title. I, I signed for Morgan when I was 17, in 98, when France won the World Cup. So in my team was Barthes, Trezeguet, Henri. You had all the young? Hey, that team's crazy. Trezeguet, Henri. I didn't even research that. Oh, Liverpool are losing. To who? Man United. Right now? 2-0. Oof. So what does that mean? Pre-season fixtures. Pre-season tax, man. Oh, straight from the Ten Hag playbook. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No I see marks. the vision. No, I see it. I Greatest. see it. Is it really to know? Yeah. yeah. Matting. That was but Fred. You, but you had, your defence, you had like, what? Uh, Panucci, obviously, ed- towards the end. When at Roma, Roma, yeah. Uh, Mex says yet Juan Cicinho, Cicinho, yeah. The full back Cicinho, the, real, the yeah. real Madrid brother. Yeah. Hey, you had some players over there, and you had um, Montella yep. up front at the end. But Montella. Did you play under him as well? Yeah, he took over from yeah. Ranieri, yeah. didn't he? That's what's that playing under a, play, a player that you played with? No, but I had when I came to Roma, he was you know at the end of his career uh, but you know like you said respect for him. I mean when Chancellor Montel was unbelievable at his prime but when he took when Ranieri got sacked and he took over it was only three or four months left and I was really upset then because I would disagree with what the club did not with Montella but Ranieri leave because I was really happy with uh, Ranieri and how the thing was going so I had I had to have a meeting with Montella on the first day I said listen you had you need to help me because I was so upset. I was, I was really 
disappointed. Uh, so he just told me this, this, and and that was nice because I knew him from before, and he knew who I was. So it was easy to talk to him as a manager. Then, but you have to respect him differently. Yeah, yeah. Even though he said, "No, no, I'm the same guy." Still, he he's the Mister. Is that the only time that happens to you, where you played with someone and then, yeah, yeah? But he's thinking. he's the Mister, you know. So, and when I even when I went to India and played three months there because the season was only three months. Roberto Carlos was my manager. Oh my god! And he was, he, and he was my <laughs> idol yeah. when I was grew up. So playing under him was weird <laughs> as well. But you know, it's just you have to respect him so differently than when they used to play. But uh, it's all. It's all that good. is serious, you know. You know, like being a Norwegian man yeah. playing for Roberto Carlos in <laughs> India. <Yeah. laughs> that's a no, that's, they, that's book worthy. They try to 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 help Indian football grow. So they they they, they got uh, players who were like. At the end of the career, so uh, I was there. Maluda was uh, Maluda was there with me in the same team. Uh, so we, they tried to get different players to come there. Uh, so two million to play. rupees a week. <laughs> 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 big peas, man. But the only the only reason I signed for was, was because of Carlos because he was a big. I was gonna, I thought he was gonna say because the money. Because <laughs> the rupees. <laughs> I was gonna say that's my boy. <laughs> hey, we never talk about money when they play, man. <laughs> Now, so I enjoyed it because you, you stay in a, in a nice hotel with the five restaurants in the, for three months. The season only lasted three months, so you know it, it was it was nice. The season's three months. How many teams? Now, are now it's seven months, but it, back then it was three months. So it's just like you have preseason, and we had preseason in Sweden because the owner was had a Swedish wife. So we stayed in Sweden, which was nice. Three weeks preseason, and then bang, game every three days. Have you ever cried? Cried? Yeah, because of a match. Like you yeah. lost the match and you cried. Yeah, play was it like crying? Like was it like? Uh, he said, he, I, I, I cried uh, at home when I, I scored. You cried at home when you scored? How did you score at home? We don't, you don't cry in the game, do you? When, when you come home, you cry. Okay. Yeah. Now, some people cry on the pitch like after. Like, they just no, no. This, uh, but I scored a uh, <laughs> Champions League semi-final against Chelsea. I scored on goal in 94 minutes. <laughs> I'm Would glad you, 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 can laugh, you can laugh now, can you? No, because you said At least I'm playing the same <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. no, listen, listen. You're so proud to say, yeah, I've never got a red card, but I'd rather get a red card than score on goal. Would you? Yeah. I'd rather play in a Champions League than a red card, so. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. No, it, that was hard because, you know, uh, Everybody hates you. In the day after at Melwood in training ground, it was, you know, they were spared the time and Reese get the fuck out, get home <laughs> and everything, all over the place. And the media hates you and... and Liverpool ain't changed that much then. <laughs> they got spray paint for the next day. It was the 94, we were winning 1-0 as well. Ooh. And then it was 1-1 draw. We had to play the return leg the week after. So the whole week until that game, uh, Benitez and the players tried to mentally prepare me. So I was ready to revenge you know to to pay back and the funny thing, on the way to the stadium uh, Stanford Bridge in the bus I started seeing blue shirts like Chelsea shirts with Reese number six on the back <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, sounds Aye, do you know what, Reese? Let's be real, sounds though. You enough. should be happy that it was them because today you're seeing it on Twitter right after the game. You know, the thing was, I have to uh, applaud, but f fucking great, well, well done by it because. <laughs> Printing Reese number six shirts on yeah, the shelf yeah. because I scored That's an goal. expensive prank. That's an yeah. expensive yeah. joke. Yeah. Is your head gone before the game when you see that? No, I thought I was laughing because okay, payback is. Has coming. there ever been one stadium like before you go to a game like this is like intimidating? Old Trafford, is it? <laughs> Take it long. No, Old Trafford. Uh, the, you know, the, the I, tunnels. I, I, like, no, I think the Old the Trafford doesn't. There's not much sound there. Uh, the, the, oh, compared to, oh, you're being you're being petty. Stop it. No, stop it. No, stop it. no wait, compared wait. Newcastle, for example. Unbelievable stadium to play uh, with the atmosphere. Uh, Stamford Bridge, Highbury, because it's, it's so close. Come you know? on. Not the bridge. I've been to the bridge. I heard a pin drop. You haven't played when it's like. I was with Spurs. It was Chelsea Spurs. Oh, Mark, you, you, wasn't tell me, you, wasn't you haven't Chelsea, played. <laughs> semi final stuff, and it's really <laughs> intense. Intense. Then, then you feel it. But Old I Trafford's never, not serious. Come on, poets play. Just Stretford <laughs> Enders. Do you, do you feel. And I played well. No, honestly, as a fan, I was going to ask this earlier. As a fan, do you. Are you realistic? F big fans, like massive fans of your club. I know you love your club and whatever, but are you re realistic? Are you 
Definitely yeah, not. When we're oh, well, this is our problem. No, yeah. no, 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 look at When I'm at home okay. by myself. Can you just say like you went home, cried. I go home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm can serious. You s- when I'm by myself, <laughs> I cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but can you say like last season was... No, it was an crap. absolute shit oh, show. It was horrible. It was and this season, you, your expectations are really low. Can you really say that honestly and say that you're not in the right place? What are you trying to do here? You're trying to, what, what no, no, this? I'm just saying intervention. No, even Arsenal found that, for example. <laughs> no, Arsenal take... fans are deluded. They don't know nothing. No, we're, not no, we're not deluded. I'm deluded. trying to get into fans, passionate fans' head. Are, are they really that... Uh, he's deluded. I'm not deluded. He's a Man United fan who's somewhat reasonable. They hate me. Reasonable is the right word. They he's, hate me. Him in the corner there is a Chelsea fan, totally deluded. But he's had he's had 15 years of success, so he's, it is what it is. He's allowed to be it's that deluded. Fan. Do you know what, John? I'll be honest with you. This is the most reasonable guys you will get. If you go on Twitter and like generalize, that's what, that's what they, you are not reasonable. No, no, I know that's because you? some people, no. some people Very can't reasonable. really, can't be realistic. Take, yeah. If I say, let's say Van Dijk is the best centre defender in the in the world, then man, you're, but no, Maguire is because of the, the thing. Are you really thinking that, uh, or no, is it just because you're a United fan? I don't think United fans haven't said that, not publicly. Sure. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm just, just an example. Let me, yeah. John, this is Savage Dan. He's a Chelsea fan. How are you? And he likes to hang around in little swimming pools with Mika Richards. I wasn't in the swimming pool. <laughs> when was that? That was like a few weeks ago. What What did you do when um, oh, English, when though. John scored the own goal? Do you remember John scoring the own goal? Yeah, I remember that. Did you cry? Maybe, but do you know what? I have a problem with crying. I can't, I don't know how to cry. But the last time I have cried was a loss. It was the Iniesta um, oh. last minute goal. Champions that was League. fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you. <laughs> well, to, be, to be honest, Chelsea is the team that scored the most goals against as well. There you go, yeah. yeah, yeah. Five, actually. Smash World Cup final, League Cup final. Oh, wow. Ooh, big game player. Big game player. But you know what? Doesn't matter, man. The history books show that I am, <laughs> I am the most successful club in the last 20 years. Yeah, so this it. is why That's they get it. to be deluded. That's They've it. got a new owner it's now. Delusion. He's American and he's doing all the transfers himself. He's playing football and manager. And they're, they're acting like, oh, this is normal. It's not normal, bro. He's, he's on point. He's <laughs> playing football manager. He was know. at Ibiza. He went at Ibiza to Buck Tuchel. There's a couple of players I really want to get John's perspective on, right? I can't be. I can't take you serious because I no, don't know if you're joking. No, no. I, I, there's, this is your, what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take Twitter, all Twitter. I'm going to bring it to you right now and I'm going to ask you, how good was Moussa Dembele at Fulham? Um, he what? How he didn't end up at? I mean, Spurs is is is, is a big team, but no, it's really, no, 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 it's he was not. Like, he was on the right path. How he didn't end up? Going? Uh, oh my, oh my God! With the ball, his strength and his vision. Uh, oh my goodness! He's the best player I've seen when it comes to what he can do with the ball. Wow! His touch, his touch. You, he didn't. You couldn't get the ball of him. And everybody says that in every club. You couldn't, he was on freaking I met, believable. I met him once and he said to me before we start working, he said, just let you know, I don't watch football. Don't care about no, no. football. Never grew up watching football. No, no. Don't care about football. Just played it. He comes to training and he's just so chill, like he's on the pitch, so chill and relaxed. He's, it doesn't, doesn't look like he cares. But when the ball is there, he never lost the ball, man. Oh my God, he's just, and, and, and the thing is also, he also always gets his, Touch on like you see, you think now he's lost it now. Somehow he needs to get his arms or somewhere around and he can protect the ball. It's just he was so strong as well. Midfielders, I think um, Dan's a midfielder. PK's a fullback. I'm a midfielder. Midfielders get uh, fullbacks get a good sight of midfielders because they have to link with them defensively and offensively. So I just think it's interesting to hear what fullbacks think of midfielders. Obviously, Akolani you played with. <laughs> see, I think. All midfielders can play fullback. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Can all fullbacks play midfield? No, because the picture changes behind you. As a fullback, when you get the ball, you kind of got the whole picture. Yeah. And you just, you know what you're doing from that. So, from if, you, that point, so if you're a centre okay. midfield player, holding midfield player, yeah. picks up second balls, right? Yeah. And then you play fullback and gets one against one against you running against you. No, you're pissed then. That's when, yeah, you're pissed <laughs> then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's when the pitch, but I'm saying on the ball, <laughs> as a fullback. Yeah, like, <laughs> on the ball, you can play anywhere on the ball. Like, yeah. But as yeah, a midfielder. Yeah, because you cut off 90 degrees of the yeah, pitch. You, you could go no anywhere. Can no, go but in, in midfield, though, if you, if you misjudge something as a midfield player, you have your defenders behind you. If you misjudge as a centre back or a defender, a you, back, are, you are conceding yeah. a goal. As a, that's as a difference. fullback, sometimes you're okay. Because so you, you should, five yards If you've got Van Dyke behind you, you cover him. Have some kind of cover. But. On the, I just think midfield's just so hard to play. 
just it's difficult. It's difficult Midfield to play. Is the hardest yeah. to play Everything bro. changes. So By the hard. time you check your mirrors, you go receive the ball. Nah. Whatever was behind <laughs> you is gone. I know you're gonna come and natural, you natural this. Nah, nah, yeah. nah, this is natural. He got put there because he weren't clinical what? on the wing. I'm oh a, what you actually a fullback now? Full no. Back. No. What's John, happened? John, this is Lippy, he's a natural right back. Natural right back. And he's a deluded Arsenal fan. I well, I was watching deluded. I was watching one of his videos of him I'm playing. I'm right now, why are you watching me? When I was when I was twenty three, there was no cameras there. There was someone behind him, the other team, by the way, and he just, I don't know, you he know just let it through his legs. He was, he was I think someone called talking about Jax, um, when they called the Jacks and you just nah, you're talking about let it um, run through your legs. Palm, what's it, what's it, Nathan Palmer? Nah, yeah. man, I, did, I didn't see him, he's short. And my awareness is different, but nah, yours, nah, no. You see when you're full back here, yeah? I like John, John, listen. <laughs> you see when you're getting balls from the fucking, the centre back or the centre midfielder sometimes, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous area to have it, you know, because that's yeah, obviously yeah, not if, in the prem. If you don't have the wait, brain to know what, it's not about that balls right on the no, way to you. We get you the, should know. We don't want it no more passes. You should know. You that just like oh, he's got, there. You've got, take it. As a as a fullback, I feel like you've always yeah, got a pressure pass passes always inside. No, you and don't. You're a bounce. No, you don't. You are, watch you're, that, you're watch that SC you Dons match. Watch that SC Dons You've got a bounce. Match. Then your midfielder's not good. You've, you've got, got a bounce. bounce. Yeah, you've at least got a bounce. Uh, did you see that clip that we put in the WhatsApp group? It was Virgil van Dijk, they, Liverpool being pressed. Yeah. And they're coming not knock Back to Virgil van Dijk. Virgil van Dijk's got the out ball on the right, the right back. But he's, the right back's about to be pressed, the trigger press. Van Dijk, and without yeah, looking, it over, knocks yeah. it over the top of the press. Yeah. And yeah, that's... We ain't got Look, van Dijk. As a, as a, no one's got van Dijk. As a fullback, at least... When that ball's coming to you, there's not someone coming from behind you as well. Usually, when you're being pressed, everything you can see, the it's data you can see. Yeah, that's true. You could go back home, you could go to the keeper, you could go down I the line. I agree with you, but it physically, it's, a, it's just a different yeah, thing. Obviously if you've that's got, just if the you've acceleration got, alone. But that's if the whole team's pressing while you're in the mud. But then you just, yeah, big diag. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> would you be a fullback or a wingback today? If you, if you were coming through the ranks today? I would love to play, to play under Klopp and Pep in the system because they can just let the fullbacks go. I, I think I was probably one of the first who started this fullback uh, thing. Pushing, go, flying fullback. Flying forward. What? You're one of the first? No. I'm not having that. No, no, no. I watched the World Cup 98. Wait, wait. I watched Cafe and Roberto Carlos. Look, yeah, but in the Prem. In the Prem. In the prem. No, but look. That's one example. We had Ashley Cole. Yeah. Went yeah, forward. I was going to say, he's, he's number one. He's number one. He, he, no, but Car he would... But Ashiko was a youth when Arisa was playing. Yeah, but I was one of the who thought more about the offensive runs than defensive. Yeah. Uh, because I, I imagine, for example, if I play Cristiano Ronaldo when he was right winger at United, I think he was a different player then than he is now because he was more one as one and dribble. I knew before the game that if I go forward all the time, he will never follow me because he will, st he will cheat and stay. So we, I can create two against one against. Gary Neville or whoever, right? Easy, but, but then if he loses the ball, he will have yeah. some space. But then we knew that Xavi Alonso or whoever or my or Didi Haman, they will cover my side a little bit so they can hold it up until I get back. So that's how I was thinking. I was thinking, no, no, why should I be scared of him? Yeah. He should worry about me going forward all the time. And he have so I'm trying always to tire the winger up and down for even for 70 minutes at the end. When he football manager, your tackling was 12. My team need to watch So these. you weren't a tackling fullback in that way, but you were uh, 16 crossing, 16 take-ons. No, but, it's but, good. No, because the thing is, if I knew before the game more I was fitter running-wise than my op opponent. So if I run for 75 minutes up and down, I know the last 15 minutes he will be fucked. So basically, wait, just te tell us more about how easy it was to play against Ronaldo. It wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you had to do. Because, but then again, like say Andy Robertson now, for example, when I came forward, I could, I had a had a shot. So I knew that if I go from twenty five yards and in, they would press me to stop my shooting, right? And like then that opens space for other players. With Andy Robertson, who doesn't have that kind of shot, we have to cross us. If he was a better shoot as well he would have more strings to play on that because now people know that he, when he's coming forward he's going to cross it right he's not going to shoot if he shoot they more that they let him shoot because yeah he, near post to be whatever so these things you have to think about before the game that okay who are you playing against what is your strength what do you have to be careful of and so when i play for example james milner then as a right winger who's strong physically as well we i used to love playing as him because we we would sh shake hands before the game 
go to war. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Let, let's go running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Let's go running. I don't say that. <laughs> you said he was the fittest player at Liverpool. He is the fittest player at I know. Liverpool now. Like so when I play like against him and, and players who are that kind of player, I knew would be a running challenge. I just love because we run up and down. If he could talk, I said, listen, stop now. <laughs> and he would tell me, John, come on now, because we knew both we can just keep running. Yeah. But what is it though? Is that like conditioning? Is it genetics? Like, is it just like you had it or is it like you- It calls something hard work. So you're saying like, so what was it that you was doing? Like, is it like shuttle runs or you're doing like- it's 20 hard, though, it? I started, you, like. from I was 12 years old, yeah. I started training 20 times a week. Pardon me? What? You said what? From I was 12, I started- 20 times a week? Is that three a day? There's not even 20 you days. You've got mountains Sunday. over there and that, innit? it? Oh, you got mountains. It's peak. So, so I, I ran. I, I, no, I ran one hour before school. Six o'clock in the morning. I ran yeah. until seven. Then school. Then football in the afternoon. Then uh, maybe I had a, I had a goal in my garden. Four hours shooting by myself. Then run before I go to bed. Yeah. When you're saying my runs, chance. are you talking That's about like doing, yeah, high yeah. intensity yeah. runs? That's why we didn't make it. That's why we didn't but make what, it. But what boys. kind of runs are you doing? Are you doing like short, sharp <laughs> runs? PK's trying to become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to learn how to be John Anarisa. Yeah, man. It's too late, bro. He done it when he was 12, you're 25. Yeah, like, you're you're Mind your business, bro. You're still trying to do Twitch, bro. You're, you're 37. <laughs> bro, get out of here. <laughs> There's no Champions League. We're you're, not making it to the prim, bro. you're not making it League One. Just, just, just don't worry. Because bro. I feel like Hashtag. I can never get fit. <laughs> like I can never be fit. No, for example, I had a route in my area where I lived. It yeah. took one hour to run. And every day I wanted to beat my time from the day before. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a Goku tick. I had a hill in my, uh, just outside, it was 300 meters hill. Yeah. So my mom stood on top with a watch. I go, I run down, yeah. sprint up as quick as I can, walk down and do that 10 times, for example. Yeah. So I, I just, and this, what this does to me is that from a young age, I prepare myself mentally mm. to handle pain. And your heart can deal with stress. Then what about during the season then? Were you still doing, maintaining that kind of no. level of running? So when I was brought to Monaco when I was 17, all that kind of stopped because then you're- You're conditioned. Then you're with the team. So you can't really train three times a day because you have a season. But, so I always loved running because I knew if there's one thing I'm, I'm going to be good at because I was not the most technical player. I couldn't you know, step over and do all this. I wasn't that player, but I can run and I can shoot. So when I was young, people asked, oh, but practice your right foot then, they said. I said, no, fuck it. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't think you've done that. That's called a USP, unique selling point, left foot. Coach is telling me that, John, you need to practice your right foot so you have equal foot. I said, no, I'm gonna perfection my left foot so I can use inside, outside, right foot, um, inside and outside and shooting and passing. And when I went to Monaco, all of Norway said, no, don't go, you're gonna get destroyed, you're gonna get fuck up your career. So I always been a person who goes against what people tell me to do. And that gives me that chance that, so if you say you can't do it, mm. there's something in my head just, oh, I'm gonna fucking show you how to do it. And <laughs> but you're not uncoachable though. Huh? You're coachable. Yeah. Cause we, we, <laughs> we, we know a guy who's a top level athlete who claims to be coachable, but oh. <laughs> actually- Are you talking about me? No, no. Oh. someone we know is a top oh. level athlete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got everything, but when yeah, they're told know, what to do, he does, he does something else. No, but things when you come to a club, you, you know, you, you have to respect the coaches and what they want to do because they are trying to train at 20 players into a system. Yeah, yeah. And that's different. You can work on your own personal thing outside, but you're into a team. You have to be, be a part of a system. If you don't do it, then you're not part of the team. So. Yeah, you have to be, but at the same time, you have to work on your own thing. Like, for example, if someone was not fit enough, they have to do extra training running. If someone couldn't, was slow, they have to work on the sprinting outside. So that's the team's job. PK, let's go, man. Trading, my brother. This is skits. Nice to meet you, John. Right. You, same, the same, you share the same surname, uh, same name as my dad. Oh, that's so. terrible. Oh, what a stinker. Oh. The occasion, the occasion's got him. Hey, yeah, you got you down, man. Yeah, um. <laughs> Shut up, up everyone. Listen, listen. I respect you highly. I just wanted to say, yeah. I get that. I just wanted to say. He shares the same name as Bear, man. I'm joking. His name's John. You mean like his, that's, that's not even his name. dad's name. What do you I mean? know his dad's name. I, I saw a couple, there's a couple, there's a couple more players before we go. A couple more players. First one is um, Berbatov. Berbatov, every, again, uh, like when it comes to Twitter and I think this table, Berbatov's a player that everyone's just in love with. Yeah, 
What what was what was Berbatov like as a player in training and in matches? I uh, his touch was unreal. I mean, he 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 could take the ball down from anywhere and just uh, stick to his feet. He didn't like running. No, <laughs> didn't so he smoke like allegedly? Uh, allegedly, the pictures. <laughs> no, uh, he, he, he his body language spoke yeah, 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 more yeah, yeah. for yeah. us. I remember, I remember one game that where he, because he was a striker at Fulham, so he, the, the manager Martin Yol said that when we are defending one side, let's say my side, and we clear the ball, you need to be on the side of where we are pressed. So if if, if you get in my left side, he needs to be on the left side, yeah. so we can clear the ball, yeah. and you can hold it up, and you can push out. So we did a few times first half, and 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 <laughs> we clear the ball, and. We look, where is he? And he stands on the opposite side. Yeah. He stands like. <laughs> <laughs> Just give, me give it to me. I'll but do he it. The, but yeah. he was on the other side. He yeah. was supposed to be on the left. He was on the right side. And then when we played on the right side, he was on the left side. So he did the opposite of what the manager. So when we cleared the ball, and all he did was like. <laughs> give me the, he didn't run for it, did he? But it was funny. He was uh, a character because he he was so. His confidence, self confidence was so high. That was Martin Joel. He had. That's a good team from a, like. Yeah, Musa Dembele's in there. You're gonna see a decent amount of the ball. Yeah, but we 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 weren't the team who kept more possession than the op opponents. You know, maybe certain games, but we were, always had to really fight for our points. Yeah, you're quite uh, big as well physically. Yeah. Actually. So, but when he plays for for United, when he gets more crosses and more possession and more chances, he was you know he was scored. What about Fernando Torres? What went wrong? Because he went to Chelsea, and it just was never the same. Now he when he came to Liverpool, unbelievable. Wow, Jesus, he, he, oof, unbelievable. Then I think, I remember meeting him when I played for Fulham against Chelsea, I think, or was it Liverpool? I met him in town and I said to him, and it was be, he's had a hard time then because of he didn't you know, start very well and he didn't get to the level he needed. And I think he, the pressure, Everything, everything going on with with the with the transfer and w back and forth, how it happened, and and all the press uh, pressure from people and media. It just, I think it just got too much for him. Is there no truth in? Obviously, he had injuries before he came to Chelsea, in them being more serious than maybe don't Liverpool know. made up. I have no, I have no idea. Uh, Those reporters said they don't even know how he passed the medical. Mad, is it? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like right. Yeah, he'd be a box. Yeah, he's, he's on smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was unbelievable. I feel sorry for him because he, when he went to Chelsea, he just didn't. It doesn't matter. He went around Valdez. That was enough. Oh, wow. All debts were paid. He won the Champions League. That's <laughs> it. I don't mind now. So uh, he's, he's good. Torres is a legend in my book. Wait, who's the hardest winger you played against? You've played hardest against winger. Hardest winger. That just. But that's what it. I said before. I mean, the best be winger is Messi. Oh yeah. Because. He is a player you know where he's going, but you can still can't stop him. Yeah. He's either going underneath you between your legs or whatever. He just does something. But for me personally, it was the type of Aaron Lennon, Tia Walcott, oh, those because of the pace. Because I, I mean, dribblers you can gamble, tackle or something. But if the ball is played behind you, you, you just have to put your engine on and, and and run. You had a little bit. You could. Yeah, but the thing is though, when you. Let's say that ball is in the middle. I have to tuck inside, don't I? Because yeah, the strikers yeah. and the wing is wide, yeah. right? I can't stay with him, can I? Because then it's just mm. massive gap. So when the ball comes, I can see the ball, and then they smash it there, and and the wing just goes across, and then you just have to hope that he has a bad touch. Would you quicker than most of the wingers that you play against. Yeah, I, I know. I was I, probably the same, or uh, when it, over longer distance, I was quick. Yeah, because I thought you was. I thought you was. Quickish, yeah, thank you. Runner, yeah. Can yeah, I ask like you a question? Runner, Can yeah. I ask you a question? You see, in that um Champions League final playing against AC, what was it like playing? Like Which one? The yeah. one you, the one you won, Ooh. and the one you came, <laughs> the, the one that matters. the one you came back from. AC Man had a long season, they were trying to win the league and all that, right? And Liverpool had given up on finishing in the top four, they finished fifth, so you had all that time to rest. When when Lamb were 3 0 up at half time, were you thinking, yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to know. I want to know how difference. you felt then. <laughs> you have to realize where you come from. I come from a small city in Norway. And I'm standing tall, and next to me is Cafu. And then you have Kaka. And then Maldini. And I'm thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? You're hearing this, PK. <laughs> that's where he is. <laughs> running yeah. up the hills, cuz. Yeah, Stop running up them hills, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you think, that's what you think. You should, then the game starts, and, and you know, obviously, 3 0 down. And I'm thinking, 
quickest way home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't feel we played that bad, but you just like three and down. You thought that what happened, and then you sit in the dressing room thinking you're gonna score three goals in 45 minutes against the, probably the best, world's best team defensively that year, and we did it in six minutes though. But still, you don't think that in the half time, do you? But what was we, said? What was said? There must have been something that motivated the man. Then what happened was we Harry Hule obviously went off in the first half, yeah. and then we. We subbed Jimmy Thrower at, at halftime, but then Steve Finner had a problem, and we didn't want to use two subs at halftime and then have to take Steve Finner off straight away, so we lost all our subs. So Jimmy was in the shower because he was told sub. Then five minutes after, Finner said, Listen, boss, I got a problem. So he calls Jimmy back from the shower, put his clothes on again. Oh, <laughs> what a legend. No, he's, no yeah. do you know what it is? He washed off the crosses. <laughs> he, got, he got rid of everything. Repented That's all the sins. Mad. That's mad. And then we just said, uh, listen, yourself, if you, in football, you know, if you get the first goal, anything can happen. Oi, that should be a thing. If you're getting battered at half time, just go have showers. Oh, Everyone. Have a shower. Everyone have a shower. Bring a new kit. You're renewed. Don't you do that at home. I've done that today. Had a shower twice already. Walking out at half time, what was you telling yourself? Because you got the first assist. Yeah, but I, 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 Head when I, walking off, I thought, please don't sub me. <laughs> because you knew it's going to be some changes. Uh, but then again, because Gattuso walked to his dressing room celebrating. Yeah, yeah. No huh. way. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, wait, I don't like Nah, it. that would have pissed yeah, me off. They were going I've mad. They were popping it. champagne at half time. Good. Possio. He was Sorry. like, he was like, he was, you could see Bolang was like, David totally won it. And then, so when we scored the first goal uh, with Stevie, I looked at Gattuso and I think, okay, they were calm, nothing. Then we scored two minutes after, 3 2. Then Gattuso started shouting at his teammates and, and, and I'm thinking, oh, he, now that we get into the head yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. If you know ourselves, right. if, if you could see the goal, you just start thinking. Yeah, he's emotional. And then well. two minutes after that, again, we scored 3 3. Uh, and he was just screaming around and, and shouting. And then, we just have to back off them because we came from 3-0 down to 3-3. We didn't want to keep going and then they score 4-3. Mm. So we just, you know, boys now stick together. We, went, we played f with him five at the back. CVG was right back, right wing back, centre back, str striker. Hot he was dog, all man, the he done everything. Can I ask you a question? Does Dudek do that in training? How he does his penalty saves? The way he acts with the wobbly knees? Well, he has never done that. He's never done that. So that was the first Kata, time. Kata, that was the debut for that. Kata, Kata, Kata told him before penalties. Remember, Grubla did it. Do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Serious? No. Okay, took it back. Uh, yeah. Come on. So wait, what was the dressing room like at the end for AC Milan? <laughs> I would have <laughs> loved to have seen There's that. There was some yeah. in there, everything. It was took us because of extra time, penalties, celebration in the stadium. It took a while. So when we came end back to the season, knackered. And we came back to the hotel. The, the hotel has made a party for it, but I went straight to bed. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. I was I absolutely yeah, I that, man. dead mentally. It must be finished. But then we had the open bus on the day after in Liverpool, but it's expected to take two hours, it took six and a half hours. It was 1.2 million people in the, in, the, in the city. PK, get on them hills, my brother. That's too late. It's not gassing it, bro. I appreciate Where are you on to be? Because you know why? Because I've been 25, bro. I've been trying to make it back. I cut my plaits off and it was this, bro. Know what time it is. All right, look, we, we, we've been going for a long time now. Obviously, there's one topic that um, oh, no. comes up a lot. We don't have to do the full thing on it, but is that the one you were waiting? On, it's the it? one he's been yeah. planning. Oh. Come yeah, on, George. I was thinking now. Oh yes, I no, oh, you know Barcelona. It's called the golf club oh, incident. Yeah. Listen, the thing is right, and I'll let Jordi frame the question. Craig Bellamy is a head case. Always was in his career. Play good player, but was not never quite all there. But Jordy, take it away. <laughs> What's the question, my friend? What happened? How did it start? <laughs> <laughs> okay, How did uh, it start? I'll try and make it short-ish. Uh, we had uh, went to Bar uh, Spain for a pre-camp uh, just to get away before um, the game against Barcelona at, at New Camp. And uh, the last day we were allowed to have dinner and, uh, and a couple of drinks if you wanted. Uh, so at the restaurant, was, which was a restaurant slash um, karaoke bar, but we had a private room. And the whole dinner he sat there with a, saying, Reese is going to sing, Reese is going to sing. I said, no, I'm not going to sing. We just kept going, you know, and I didn't drink. Some other people did. Uh, and just kept going, just annoying me. And then by the dinner, we went into a karaoke place and he took the microphone and said, Reese is going to sing again. And I just, I just lost it. I just went up to him and said, listen, 
I'm not fucking singing, so shut the fuck up or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna smash you. Yeah, if you kicked him, it would have been long. <laughs> yeah, left foot. So, him. but he had, he had a few drinks, I said it in front of the guys. And then I walked, I took Sam Hippia uh, back to the hotel. So I walked straight home after that. Uh, we took a taxi. And I was, I was rooming with uh, Dan Iger in the, um, in the hotel. And he was still out, so I, was, I went to bed. And then I could hear some keys in the doors. I thought it might be Iger coming home. But then the lights came on. And then when you've been sleeping and the lights come full on, just like, you can't really see. So I turn around and there's Bellamy with a golf club in the sand. Oh my I've never oh heard God. about this. What the f I thought you was going to say something good happened. <laughs> <laughs> we was going to say he came in singing what he was meant to sing. And, and Steve Finney's in the door watching. Because oh, I he, thought you said it was a rush. I thought it was rushing. Because, because, he, back he, because he probably Bellamy has told him what he's going to do. Go to his room and whatever. So I'm lying in my bed and, and he comes in and starts shouting stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't care what happened, blah, blah, blah. But I could see he was not... Ooh, there. Not sober. Yeah. And then he took a swing on my shins. Boom. Oh, and, I, and, I, and I jumped out and I just took my feet out of the, and he missed. He just smashed it. In, uh, and I thought, okay. So I stood up and I took this sheet, right? And, and then he kept talking. I said, listen, let us do it the proper way. Oh, what, what happened? Hands. Yeah, yeah man, man to man or something. No, he stood there and just, I don't care if I go to this jail or whatever. My kids got enough money. I'm going to fucking up. Nobody talks to me like this in front of my players, blah, blah, blah. I said, what happened? And then he swung it and, and I blocked it with my, my shin. Cheese. Twice. He checked the golf club. That is ninja and shit. And then I then I thought, listen, I can't I have to I have to do something now. So I was thinking in my head, if he goes again, I'm gonna use the duvet and uh, the sheet and 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 do some and do he's something. Drunk. He's not he's not all there. You probably can <laughs> scooby do him, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the sheet over <laughs> block it with a sheet and then maybe yeah. thump him in his mouth. And then waterboard and then waterboard him. This this the, the, this this the funny thing is, or funny or whatever, it's like while I was standing, I was thinking, if I do something now, I lose my career, a liberal. So while I'm standing looking at a guy with a fucking golf club, I'm thinking of my career. I can't fight him, yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm trying to be like, talk myself out of it, you know? So I'm thinking, if he goes again, I have to respond. But I said, listen, let's meet tomorrow, nine o'clock, I said to him, me and you tomorrow. And he agreed <laughs> to do that. So he agreed to do that. Smoky. So he walked out and then Aga came back and he just wanted to go and uh, fight and then police outside because something else happened there. Oh, is it? Uh, Benitez came, the doctor came to check on me. So in the morning after, I said, I walked to his room nine o'clock with Dan Agger, knocked on his door, he wasn't there. And then I go to breakfast and obviously all the boys heard. So the boys are like smiling, laughing, which I understand in, because he's fucking crazy, but at the same time, it's serious. And then he came in uh, five minutes after, didn't even look at me and stuff. Uh, and then I had a meeting with the Benitez and uh, and him well just put this this case close because we got a game in two three days or whatever and uh yeah he scored the first goal i scored the winner that he assisted and we beat barcelona 2-1 at Nou. that is <laughs> that was crazy. god yeah that's god that's the only that's the only explanation but uh, but the thing is though the thing is though people people said to me why didn't you respond i said of course, you should protect yourself. But at the same time, I'm thinking about if I do something, but he, he got sold yeah, yeah. the next window. Yeah, yeah. He lost, you know, that because of the incident. I didn't want to do that. So I tried to be the, <laughs> the big amount. Well, he is a player who likes to talk, shout, give you so much shit on the pitch, even teammates when you're training and stuff. But when you respond to him. Don't love it. We, got, we, ha we have a word for that, you know. What's that? Wasio. Wasio, oh, yeah. yeah. Would you say Craig it, Bellamy's a Wasio? It looked like... When he did the celebration, we're thinking, oh, you lot are laughing about no, it. No, no, The celebration annoyed me. When he celebrated with a golf club swing. I could imagine, yeah. I, could, I need to watch that back. Oh. Wow. I need to watch that That's back. That's context. <laughs> yeah. You should have held up nine fingers for 9 a.m. I thought you made friends. No, no, no. no, no we, we, the thing is, you can forgive but not forget, yeah. right? And that's for me. But when, and now, he, you know, he says some things. But, I mean, he's trying to protect himself for this incident. But he agreed that he was... In the wrong. In, in the, the wrong, wrong and everything. Mm -hmm. But... I mean, people said uh, what happened, and I met him when I played Fulham against Liverpool because he was there, and he played right winger, and I was dying. <laughs> oh my days! I was dying to get a, a, a two foot attack by. <laughs> he's a good player, though. No, he's a, he's a good player. Hey, player wise, he's quick. He's he's good finisher. He, he's powerful. He's hard to play against, but you know, uh, you, you don't forget. All right. Well, listen. One thing we do on this show is we introduce the panel. Uh, I've saved it till the very end. And it means that we get to introduce John at the end. So from my right to my left, uh, thank you for coming. Savage Dan. By the way, he said 
there's two people here that scored at Camp Nou. Yeah, true. Only two. Like, he scored yeah. against the women. He yeah. scored against the women's Nagasaki. team, but he did score. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. World Cup winners. World Cup winners. One at eight, one. Hangs around paddling against pools Chinese with Michael Richards. He's, he's versatile. Next on the panel, we've got the man with all the dangerous questions. Jordy, not Jordan. Talk to him, important. Tour tickets on sale now. Come on, man. John, you coming to my show? <laughs> nah. <laughs> not after today. He's going to be there in spirit. You get me? I had a man the sunglasses. And also had a man the sunglasses. His name is Skits Capsule Collection. His dad's name is John as well. His dad's Thank name's you, John, allegedly. Hardest name to pronounce on camera. John. Hardest name to pronounce. But thank you, man. Going through hell right now. Uh, next on the panel, we got uh, Licky Lippy Lickshot. Oh, for some reason, Licky. Yo, Licky. Licky Licky. Let me read it. Let me read it. Licky Licky. His name's Lippy Lickshot. He's come straight from the gym. It looks like. I haven't. You know, he was just. He was just. I haven't changed since. I haven't changed since. Yeah, that's where you should be. But you know, I just want to say, John, I understand the crying thing. <laughs> now, I, won, I won a boxing world championship. I fought many fights. Many fights to win that belt. I won. It was a bit, it was a bit of hay fever in there. So I understand sinuses, you, you tear up sometimes, man. What, we you looking at? <laughs> I don't understand that, bro. I can't relate, bro. I'm right, gonna go back to this table. Stratford ends own Manchester United's biggest cheerleader, Margs from Mashtown. Come on, man, you know what they say, man. Bury me in the Stratford end. I'd also like to say, John, my dad's name's Tony. <laughs> Next on the panel, he's back from the stairs. He's fighting fit. He brought a lot of water today. He's wearing that shirt to prove a point. I got cod liver oil as well. And he's got cod liver oil. What, ro raw? Just rolling with it. I'm rolling. Big man, I was in the corridor of a hospital. No, I know, nah, I know what corridor you're using. A, using another corridor as well. <laughs> 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 I almost made it there. <laughs> the first floor corridor. Yeah, that nah, was in the, in the tunnel. tunnel. Next on the panel, we got uh, Mileage. He's, he's on Twitch now. Twitch.com slash Mileage UK. M-I-L-A-G-E-U-K. I mean, that's not medicine. I'm trying to stay... Do something. He's he's the most normal guy here, though. I think. Miles, oh, thank you. What? Miles, Miles. John, John, that means you are an idiot. You Don't think he's normal? From so today, from so today. <laughs> I'm on Craig Bellamy's side. Man, that man, but he's normal. No, no. From today, from today's, I've been there two hours, and that's my expression. He's a normal guy. No, no, the normal. Then. John, everyone here you're agrees. You're having a stink. Everyone John. here agrees. Don't worry. Everyone here agrees. I am the normal no, one. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, it's your boy Miles, aka Wiles, aka the best looking guy on YouTube. The best looking guy on Twitch. Well, now you're going over the top. <laughs> Welcome back, John. Just come. have to let him do the Miles thing. You should have stopped. <laughs> yeah. Next on the panel, we got a man who's gonna start running up hills, training three times a day. Hashtag United's. I'm ready. Midfielder, fit. come right back. I'm a failed wonder kid. In many ways. Went there. I was, I, I was like Juve. I'm like Juve. He's like Juve. When I he was at Colchester United, which he was, he made the newspapers, you can search his name, for bad stuff. Bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my pro because You see what you was talking about, the professionalism? Yeah. No, actually, when you talk about when they get to the club and then they think they made it. Yeah. <laughs> El Ajjouf. <-Juf. laughs> El <-Juf. That> <laughs> And John, he, he started at the same club as now Ranger. So at least there's consistency there. Oh, wow. And last but not least on the panel, Champions League winner, AS Monaco, yeah. Liverpool, yeah. Fulham, yeah. Yes, Roma, <laughs> top international appearance maker for Norway. John Arnarisa. Oh, <laughs> That's what he's doing right now. Oh, John Arnarisa. Oh, John Arnarisa. He's getting too many times. He's getting too many times. Too many times. Oh, You're on your own, bro. What's he doing? And That's what I'm saying, bro. It's too many See times. No, nah, he's doing this <laughs> again, again, again. And then, and, then, and then when John started laughing at he did it like three more times. You That's know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You're always like this, so you're yeah, trying to be, say John's got a big dick. I done this, you done that. All right, subscribe to the channel, filthy5.com. Thank you, everybody. Wow, what's the name?